We can't be listening to racist. That one I will never do. It is important that name changes are not done without some good cause, but arguing that it should not be done at all would be unreasonable, given our country's tragic history. Is the minister aware of the reported case regarding the provincial government in the Free State, which tried to change the name of the Naysville and Harvey to be a game reserve? You know, we must be honest. You know, you cannot expect black people that live through the worst times of apartheid to live in a street called Fervurt. If anything, Basa, Basa show any remorse. So on that one, it's a minute, yes, public participation, we must follow everything. But the BE deal, the names get changed now. You have Kumalo and Sons, but there's not one black people in that sometimes. But we must be honest, we must also not do it as revenge. You must not want to hurt people. There's something on my desk now, where they're trying to change the name. There's absolutely no consultation. They just wanted to hurt the white minority in that town. They never asked them, what do they feel? I send it back. We should understand we've got a troubled history. And that history would need us to make sacrifices. White people need to understand there are certain names that will have to change. Black people will have to understand that it should be done not in a way as revenge, but it should be done in... You see, the transformation of the naming landscape in South Africa is a critical component of the heritage landscape. The process follows the South African Geographical Name Council, SAGNC Act, Act number 118 of 1998, and the United Nations Resolutions and Geographical Names which guide the process of name standardization and name changes in South Africa. The Provincial Geographical Names Committee, PGNCs, hold, hold public consultation meetings prior to submitting name change applications to the SAGNC. And the minister do not process and should never process any name change applications unless there is documented proof of credible public consultation at the local level. The cost carried by the department related to name changes is budgeted for as an allocation towards the transformation of South Africa's naming landscape in order to reflect the history and languages of the majority of the people of South Africa. It is also part of the symbolic rep uh, reparations in line with recommendations of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. The argument that name changes should not occur in South Africa for budgetary reasons is a very well-trodden and regularly raised point. Every year, for the past 30 years, the primary flaw with this idea is that it is unlikely ever that in South Africa we will ever reach a point where unemployment is at 0% and that there will be no competing priorities for public funds. It is important that name changes are not done without some good cause and relatively conservatively, but arguing that it should not be done at all would be unreasonable, given our country's tragic history. If we were to wait before considering any name change whatsoever, until all the various other problems in South Africa has been solved, then we shall have to wait for many decades, if not centuries before daring to consider a single name change. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister. Honorable Skrikokul, is there a follow-up question? Yes, thank you, Deputy uh, Chairperson. Minister, names are important, and that is how we acknowledge and remember all those that have contributed to South Africa's history. But is the minister aware of the reported case, which myself I did, to the public protector regarding the provincial government in the free state, which tried to change the name of the Naysville and Harvey to be a game reserve without public participation? If so, what action steps will the minister take to stop officials using name changes for political motivated actions rather than protecting South African heritage? Thank you very much, Honourable Minister, your response. You know, we must be honest. Name changes are political. You know, you cannot expect black people that live through the worst times of apartheid to live in a street called Fervurt. It is a reminding 
It's a, I mean, to, to wake up every morning and to be reminded of the injustice and the pain that you suffered. We must be fair. You know, people say we, we, we don't want this name changes, but you look at all these BE companies. Uh, they got black names. But some of our people in this country are easy to change the names, the company's name to black names. But when it comes to changing names that also suits the black majority, they have a problem. But the BE deal, the names get changed now. You have Kumalo and Sons, but there's not one black people in that sometimes. So, but we must be honest, we must also not do it as revenge. You must not want to hurt people. You know, the, we have instances, I've had an instance where uh, something on my desk now, where they're trying to change the name. And there's absolutely no consultation. They just wanted to hurt the white minority in that town. They never spoke to nobody. They never asked them, what do they feel? I send it back. What I'm saying is that we should be, we should understand we've got a troubled history. And that history would need us to make sacrifices. White people need to understand that certain names that will have to change. Black people will have to understand that it should be done not in a way as revenge, but it should be done in the spirit of how far we've come as a country. Thank you very much. A deputy Chair. Uh, also, I'd like to thank you, Minister, for your uh, progressive response to the question. Uh, therefore, South Africa has a history of division and oppression. It is very interesting to listen to those who have benefited from the division of the past when they question the attempts to, to correct our history and heritage. My question, is it necessary to transform the naming landscape in South Africa? Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Member. Honorable Minister, your response? Yeah, no, thank you very much for, 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 for thanking me first. I think, you know, it is very, very necessary. You must understand name change didn't start with the fourth or third or first uh, administration. When the English uh, was running South Africa or the Union of South Africa and the Afrikaner uh, uh, came into political power, they also changed names to suit not only the narrative, but to suit the political climate of that era. So we must not be made to feel like we are, we've invented name changes. It's not a South African or an African phenomenon. It's a worldwide phenomenon. There's a lot of emotion in it. I mean, for instance, I'll make you an example. Many years ago, I was wrong. I was one of the people that wanted the Springbok emblem to be removed until and, and the Afrikaners fought for the Springbok emblem to remain because it was important to them. And I was on the other side. And Nelson Mandela came and he convinced all of us that you must never change a name to hurt people because I wanted to change the name to hurt white people. Now, if, we can, if the Springboks still remain and we manage to have empathy for the pain of the people that loved the Springboks then, today we all love the Springboks. So they will also love Robert Subukwe Airport or whatever rename that we have. We can't be listening to racists. That one I will never do. We can't be told by a racist that wants to remain, that wants this street, Eugene de Cox Street. How can we allow that? Like we are not in power. No, we can't. So names will be changed, but it should not be done as a revenge. The Springboks, some of us wanted to revenge, but Mandela taught us, and their teachings are still with us today. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Minister. The next follow-up question is from the Honorable Farmer. Thank you, Honorable Minister and President of the fastest growing party in South Africa. <laughs> My president, 
Minister, can you please share us your view and the view of your department with regards to the government of the Western Cape not recognizing the history of the indigenous people of the Western Cape with regards to name changes? Our people are not recognized. The Western Cape is not changing names to the Sarah Bartmans, the Kratuas, the Harry the Strandlopers. Brown people, colored people's heroes are not being recognized by the, by the, by the Western Cape and Cape Town, especially in particular. Can you share us your view on that? That's great. Right. Thank you very much, Honorable Farmer. Honorable Minister, your response? You know, I, I speak to the Honorable Minister uh, uh, once a week, and we always speak Afrikaans. Now, when we are here today, he's speaking to me in English. <laughs> you must say, uh, I want to say that, you know, I agree with him. There's a slow pace of name changes in the Western Cape. But before I cast any aspersions, I would like to see is there a fast pace of applications. I've not seen that. So I need to uh, balance to say, because you can't say we are not changing names and there's no application to change names. And you know, the reason why I was appointed the Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture is to do the people's will. And if the people of the Western Cape, whoever was, if it is true that they were blocking and they were, they were blocking it, that's about to change because this, depart, this falls under the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture and I am the minister now. So there's no excuse. We can't be blaming the DA if it doesn't happen in future. I should be blamed because that falls under me. But I must add to you that, you know, in South Africa, we should be very jealous of what we've achieved as a country. You know, some of us here and elsewhere, we sometimes underestimate what we as a country have achieved. We have become one nation. I make the next one example of, of this term. I knew white guys, they were wet, when they were wet behind the ears, they were taught racism. But today, that very same white guy that was wet behind the ears, his eyes get wet when he sings Morena Bulukas Chavas Aruna. I know black people that fought to death not to speak Afrikaans. But today, the very same black people that fought to death are singing with Gasto and the blow fan on Yema. So we should never, never underestimate how far we have come as one nation under God. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honourable Minister. The next follow-up question is from the Honourable Makassini. Thank you, uh, Deputy Chair. Ricky uh, Dumedi said, name changes, it is a And the uh, Lena Gadumela, it is a through the public consultation. And the Baba Hatlono, Lohore, Rechente, the Doropana, Zarona, Hanga, the Hababajin Niti, Ribuan Niti Morazwa. Rike Keberaba Handle Manifesta, the Bernali Doropo, Ebiza Harris. Smith, Harry Smith, Ella, Tate, Harry Smith, Alla Rea, Doropa, Harry Smith, Gamsadua High. The really is okay. If you go to Lady Smith today, Mutula Rea, Doropa, ya Lady Smith, Gamsadua High, Kapaka girlfriend, ya High, then we must still say it's okay. Public participation, it's a meta, it's a hale, mark cost effective, Utame Rescara, it's a in a mena, ya who reber sebedusa, chelete. Andres Napulu, Rsai Cheka, State has Zaruna Sasa Pajet Yaruna, because Harriet's a name change in a Harris Smith, Gabayane Smith. The municipality addresses Libona, they will have to incur the cost because Bato Chita the address. But Bana Batswana, Limuzo Gagapilagamo, Basarati Dabaya name changing, like in Tobayens and Branford, Rike Geberatula, Berriska is a hala. 
Joale ka mani poldru re ke ke bara dumela hore mani fresete mo o tswang heno re dule re dule ka re totoropo tsa batho ba re hlikifeditseng ba sa ba sa show any remorse so on that one itla me etsa hala yes public participation we must follow everything to the latter public consultation and re tla support on that one ha etsa hala re ba tla a re tlo dula le 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 here smith any longer thank you Thank you, Honourable Maxasini. We now, uh, Honourable Minister, your response. Whatever more to more life in, more 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 life in whatever a barrier who pila ke ho ke ho ke ho ke ho mamela batwa ho bua elu ena wa ituta. He na kesa tibi Harry Smith inili girlfriend or slave queen is a little lady Smith. He na kesa tibi so wata kiri lebuye member. Eh, 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 fighter for whom pay history. Oh, eh, one need to develop a Luena. Eh, Tanzeri change my beat. Martanzeri at the Camulao, Erdumet in Gayone. Rescapa Tongadi shortcut. Eh, how about you, Sebole de Smithy? Eh, Ricking him a bit of a town for re, retabe cofella. Cosca one of my bits out, do you eat a do it a varam? That's our side. So, you want to read it? Not that to Mamela Mutor from Pelavri, this guy's name change and hardly come back. I hear you on a look at Linda. I say it's in Linda. Transfer read the name change and Rita Mekamula, I get Mulawiti. Because if I if I do that, Mabito, I am. Leo sani na makhetsi ke tla tlisa slekwidi a ka kere e thaudu ye le ke re re ka ka slekwidi e ba ke tla mo hlala fela e tshe ke ke protect me e bo di tshe lo ke i thank you very much thank you very much honorable minister uh we now move on to the next follow up 